and three, two, one, boom, and we are back in another episode of Scratch Gamers. This is Craig Dialogue. We, uh, it's that time of the four years again, where um, the leader of the free world is about to be chosen. And um, it's the free world, right? It's weird that they consider that the leader of the free world, but it's like a lot of places have freedom. Yeah, I mean, that's just a PR stunt, right? Just using that as like a name. I yeah, always thought that like, was kind of weird, you know. I was like, just, "Huh, are we just not free?" Like, I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Well, I mean, that's the I- whole idea of America was. Oh, look! Look how look how perfectly <laughs> timed that is. If you were watching this on YouTube, uh, Vish is looking at a bunch of stars on the wall. Yeah. So, uh, surprise, surprise, we're going to talk about the upcoming election in USA. You might hear a lot of sniffling between me and Vish because we were sick, and uh, this podcast is coming out later than. Uh, it usually does because of that yeah. fact. Yeah. <laughs> Stay healthy, friends. A lot of fruit juices. Not fruit juices, smoothies. Smoothies are very helpful. Anyways, so uh, I'm not I'm not as well versed, but I do have some general opinions on like government and stuff. Fish is really into this stuff. Right. Like always watching the debates and stuff. Um, I, guess, I guess first, yeah. it's my entertainment. <laughs> yeah. oh, would you one say that that it's sort of like reality TV then for you? Uh, in some way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is kind of funny because that's exactly what Bernie Sanders was talking about on uh, Joe Rogan. He's like, yeah. this isn't a presidency. Like you say, in Europe, each president gets an allotted 30 minutes to talk about whatever they want on TV uninterrupted. Yeah. Right, but like so then, so yeah, yeah. You have to finish your thought. Finish but your thought. but then, like in America, it's about like who who can get the fastest thirty second sound bite in. Yeah, you know, to get their point across. Yeah, which is interesting because it's like. So uh, what I was trying to say, what I was going to say was that comes into question. Who's really free? That affects the people's freedom of choice because you're now selling versus like. Actually oh, informing. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's a popularity not, contest. Yeah, it really is it's like not the same thing. Like I've heard Joe yeah. Rogan say that so many times. I was kind of like, ah, eh, maybe. I don't really pay attention to it. I hardly pay attention to what's going on <laughs> like, <laughs> in local news. Right. But uh, yeah, Vish being a huge uh, fan of it, I hear a lot about it, and I get filled in. So, I guess, what did you think of the? What did you think of the actual debate so far? Uh, the actual debates? I mean... Like, have you seen, what, how many were there? Like, three? Two? Uh, two. All right, all right. But it was, so like... Because we're Canadian, how, how does this work? You know what's funny? Okay. Because we're Canadian, we should be focusing on, like, Canadian politics, but you're yeah. into I, I wanted politics. to. I wanted to add a bit into that. I was going to talk about Canadian just, like, a tad bit, which was... But are you really into it as much as American politics? And could that just be because of the entertainment value of American I politics? I think it's the entertainment value. You know what I'm saying? Right it's like... Yeah. Because we don't do that kind of stuff. But it's, it's, see, because we don't have the same kind of problems that America does. Like, what do you mean? The same issues to really, that, that like, didn't, argue over? Yeah. Oh, because we have, like, free We healthcare have healthcare, and we've got, like, these sort of things. We're just now fighting over, like, like little things or, like, to fix. Right, 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 right. Or to make better. Although there is that, like, whole controversy. I honestly, I don't know anything about it, so I'm definitely going to butcher this one. But uh, it's, like, something about, Trump, uh, not Trump, Trudeau and his, like, bribery? You hear about that? I saw it, like, uh, the... Yeah, but I, I, you really got to look into it. Like, that's the, that's the, uh, like, that's a simple way to say it, but I think there's a lot more into it. Like, I've heard people talk about it differently. Right, okay, cool. Where it's, like, it's not really, like, it seems as big as it was, but, like, no one's we'll talking about it now, right? That which was, which I find is always the case. Like, it's always like that in the news. Like, something big will happen and we'll just forget about it. It's sort of like. But it's, like, it's not just that. It's like, someone, like, I can't remember how they explained it, but there was just like, like, a lot of this is already normally done. And it's not like something technically bad. It's just. Right. That's what I was thinking, too. It's like, yeah. it's not bad. It's just like people are painting in a bad light. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, go on. Uh, like, so, like, what I wanted to say about the like Canadian things. So like, uh, this year is, uh, also, um, Canada's federal election. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. You didn't know that because, uh, our stuff is like very short, like within months, 
the debates are done. Oh, and really? We, yeah. His, our, wait, wait, wait. Uh, we're going to have an election now? This year, yes. No way. Wow, I am so out of loop. Yeah, People so, listen to this are like, wow, that guy's dumb. Yeah. And I'd like to just point out the fact that I used to work for like, nah, I don't work for them anymore, so that's great. But, but like, they're not really government, though. But like government-ish related, so like it was kind of like really weird that I didn't really know policies, but I'm always like, I'm, I'm like here to make things look good. Yeah, but really you're, you that's not your job, right? You're that's what I'm saying, in, exactly. In that. Anyways. But, but that was kind of yeah, weird. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. No, but the thing is, yeah, like uh, um, – American politics is a very long process. So because it's it's for ratings. Is that what you're saying? No, it's just the way it's done, <laughs> man. Is it, I I kind of like it cuz people So for instance, so in Canada, I think we've talked about this but it's like we've had we have different parties, right? Okay, yeah. But we don't pick the leader of that party. Oh, okay. I don't understand. So, oh, oh, like Trudeau is the leader of the Liberal Party, right? He or gets elected. whoever. I don't even know who so, the so leader like, of the Conservative Party is. So it's right? like team captains. So yeah. Like it's sort of like we're picking you as our team captain. You're gonna champion yeah. us. Ourselves. Yeah. So we don't do a primary like what America does, where right now the Democratic Party is going through a primary to choose who would be the Democratic nominee. Interesting. Okay. So that's why their process, their election. Who's, who's gonna pick that again? Who, what do you mean who picks? Like, who picks the, like, who picks the team captain? In America? Yeah. Uh, the like, vote. The people voting. The people? Oh, so, wow, that's so weird. So, like, they vote twice, essentially. You vote for your team captains, and then you vote for the final president. Yeah. It's like elimination round. Yeah. Wow, that's weird. So yeah. Weird. Uh, well, not everyone technically would vote. Like, the turnout generally isn't the same as a right, general no, no, election. Yeah, right, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because uh, nobody cares about picking the team captain. Yeah, and it's a long process. Like the election, so the way everything's going now, it's like as if the election's coming this year, but the the federal election in America is next year, November. Wow, that's a long time. Exactly. And ours is within, in months, and we haven't heard anything about it. True, yeah. So like that's how short ours is. That's cool. I kind of like that better. But that mm. what happens in America then, and you spend more money, right? Yeah. To get it's, again, it's a capitalist thing. It's like you're. Yeah. It's a commercial machine. Yeah. Which is why you find so much value and entertainment out of it, because you're like, ooh, who wants to be the next president of the United States? And it's America? fun, like, which I, is kind of uh, funny <laughs> and ironic that a reality TV star won the reality TV <laughs> yeah. challenge. Yeah. And it's not like the first. Oh my god! And it's not oh the my, first oh time, right? Wait, wait, wait. It's Could not also imagine? not the first time. Look at the mind blow. A reality TV star won the reality TV challenge. He's like, I can do this. This is just ratings. I got it. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's like, I've done this before. That's nuts. When you look at it through that lens. Yeah. Like when you look at it through like voting, it's like, okay, it's one thing. But like if you look at it as like an outside observer, yeah. like the fact that you're watching it and you're Canadian and you don't care. Like this doesn't affect you, but you're watching out of entertainment value. Yeah. It shows that there is some level of like. Like reality TV ness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And then, of course, the reality TV guy is going to win. Like, he's got the most experience being on TV. Uh, yeah, but he didn't do what he was doing. Anyways, but that, 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 that's beside the point because there was. There's so multiple reasons. Like, I might, I might want to get into that. Like, the other reasons. He that, won? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Like, we, we talked about it, like, with Cambridge Analytics and how that came into play. Like, there's so many things that would come into play. I don't think play. We, ta- we talked about it off. Thing. Maybe off. I don't yeah. think we talked about it like on the podcast. Uh, okay, so, uh, that's true. That's true. That's true. So I wonder where like that's uh, going to go. It's like you watch the, the the Joe Rogan one on Bernie Sanders on Bernie Sanders. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was it was really good. Think? What did you think? Yeah. Um, I really liked Bernie's ability to tell like it is. Like a lot of the things that he was saying were like very conspiracy. Like they're the things that I would, like, okay, it's sort of like, so Joe Rogan was like, wow, that's so interesting. But it's like, if you studied, like, business, the way it works, it's not really. And it's kind of like, that's what they teach you. Like, of course, you're going to leverage your, like, your, yeah. your, uh, like, um, I don't know how else to say, like, leverage your leverage. But, like, you're just going <laughs> to maximize on your leverage. Mm-hmm. And, right, it's like. Of course, I'm gonna go out for the most money, and like, of course, I'm gonna like collude and like work with other people. And like, right. it, if you look at how any business operates, it's like you just gotta remember that like governments are businesses, 
Mm -hmm. right? And if you look at it like that, then it's like, of course, of course these things aren't shocking, you know? Yeah. Right. It's like he, like one thing that uh, Bernie Sanders was saying, which is so true, he's like, well, how come um, there's like a opioid crisis or whatever? And he's like, well, the, the drug companies are making lots of money off of it, mm -hmm. you know, like making you pay for it. And then like we have all this research towards drugs, but it's like always incremental changes for the drug research. It's never like monumental. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're not like trying to cure anything. Some people are, but like what all these R&D people are like really just looking how to like make it incrementally better. Right. Right. So it's like if you have that in your agenda, then it's like, but that's, again, you could say like Apple, right? It's like we're not trying to make the only phone out there. We're not trying to cure the phone epidemic. Right. We're just going to make incremental phones every time. Mm -hmm. See, it's like the parallels between business. Yeah. See what I'm saying? And it's like him saying that stuff was just like very real and like it wasn't shocking. It was just shocking that you admitted it. And that's what I liked about Bernie. Yeah. You know? Um, but he's not the candidate I'm rooting for. Oh, who are you rooting for? Uh, I, well, I mean, I'm not American, so I can't vote. <laughs> we can't vote anyway. But I saw, I saw Joe Rogan's episodes with Andrew Yang and yeah. um, Bernie Sanders. Oh, there's another thing he was saying like about like climate change. Um, fossil fuel companies have a heavy investment. So like one thing that I used to do in back when I was in school, and I was like still naive to like how all this operates, um, I would say like we need like smaller governments and mm -hmm. we need to like change the government structure. I was really into that. And then you realize like, all right, these people have billions and billions of dollars, right? Yeah. Like the people with the real money, you don't even know about. It's like you're like, oh, celebrities make lots of money. It's like, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. But it's like the oil manufacturers that you don't even know their names, they're making the most money. Yeah. Because they don't want you to know their names. Why? Because it's like they don't want you to tie it back to their tax. Because if you know my name, then it's like, okay, well, I can tax you for what you made. What'd you make? It's mm -hmm. like, oh, no, no, that's not me. That's him. And But you're actually making the money. So it's like, right. so it's sort of like one thing you could do is like if you own a giant company. See, like, all right, what I'm about to say is like, oh, that's so conspiratorial. No, that's just how business works. Yeah. Okay. You, if you understand the loopholes of business, you could do this. So like if I own a giant company and I have a son and then my my company's making like $200 million, that's going to be a huge tax on me, right? Yeah. So I just give half of the company to my son. We both only get taxed for the hundred thousand, hundred million. Mm -hmm. So we, we can skip a certain tax bracket, or like we can hide money. You know what I'm saying? Or like give it to multiple people. So we're not actually making the yeah. total sum ourselves and then being taxed for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can hide money that way. Mm -hmm. You know, and basically that's what Bernie was saying. Like stuff like that's going on. It's like, of course that's going on. You know. If you're not dumb about business, you'll know that that's what's going on. Yeah. But so that's why I like, Ber um, not Bernie Sanders, I like Andrew Yang because he's using business to correct the situation. He's like, governments are like businesses. I'm like, yes, okay, finally, I can get behind you. Plus he's Asian, so that's going to be like the first Asian <laughs> president right. in our lifetime. Well, yeah. In America's lifetime. <laughs> We're not American, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, who, who are you rooting for? Oh, and Bernie said that he would go back on Joe Rogan and um, he would he would he would tell them about aliens. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the last thing I remember. Now I remember what the last question was. If he uh, if he goes in office and he finds out about <laughs> aliens, he'll he'll announce it on the Joe Rogan Experience. Okay, all right. All right. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. It's interesting that Joe's become this platform for like everything now. Like he's really become like the Howard Stern of of like. Yeah, he podcast, has. Yeah, that's know? true. That's true. He has. Yeah, he has. Oh, I didn't think about it like, it's like that. Yeah, with Howard Stern. Yeah, they true. they all say it. Like I don't really watch Howard Stern, but like he's like that level of like just. I used to, to be on. Watch Howard Stern. Oh, okay. So there you go. Yeah, he's like hit that level. Like you're having like, it's it's really fascinating that mm -hmm. whole model that he's built. But so who are you rooting for? Well, okay, I mean, technically it would be Bernie Sanders, but it's like I, I like. You, Multiple uh, people, right? Sorry, quick pause. You know, I've been to Vermont, and it's, like, so fascinating. It's such, like, a rural area. Yeah. Of course he would be like that. Like, it's so, like, honest and, like... It's, like, right next to Canada. Right, yeah. And, like... I think, he brings up Canada all the time in the debates. Because he's when he's talking he's about right specifically there, yeah. with healthcare, he's, like, you know, like, just 20 yards away or something like that. It's, like, Canada, 
with their health 50, 50 kilometers or 50 miles. Something like that, whatever he yeah. says. It's like, yeah. Uh, if that's like a, that's like they a have day trip to get there. I think it's like seven hours like, to drive there yeah. or less. Something like that, yeah. Seven hours maybe? I can't remember. I drove mm. back. Yeah, but so anyways, yeah, it's like I could see him coming from that place. It's like, oh, yeah, it's very, like, hippie, down to earth. Right. Yeah. Good nature people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways, so you're saying you're rooting for? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, that I was rooting for Bernie Sanders since, what, 2016 election one? And then, like... N- at that time, there was nobody speaking like Bernie Sanders. Right? It was just Bernie Sanders. Right. Uh, and now... Now they're all doing it. Wow. Now you've got... Yeah, you've got the uh, Bernie Sanders who's like, in polling-wise, number two. Hmm. And there's Elizabeth Warren, which uh, I'm not really that into, but if that's the choice, it would be her. But then uh, the other two would be Yandra Ang and uh, Tulsi Gabbard. Okay, I have no idea who these two women are. Uh, well, Elizabeth Warren, you don't need to worry about that. But, like, Tulsi Gabbard has been on Joe Rogan as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, cool. Maybe I'll watch that one as well. See, that's yeah. so weird that they've all been on Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. You know, because they know that's the popular vote. Like, he's got so many viewers. And, and, go and the thing is that a lot of people, a lot of these uh, people that are voting for these guys are young people. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. So and that's it, where you, you should go where they are, right? Totally, totally. And it's so interesting because, like, Joe's like a self-proclaimed like pothead, and like even <laughs> Bernie Sanders talked about smoking weed on the podcast. It was like interesting how times. But like have that's changed. like no, but even Obama's done that, right? He's admitted to smoking weed. Yeah. Oh, see, but how times? It's have not. Changed. It's not a new thing. Like no, like, even before. Before it was legal. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's not like a new, like we even knew that about. Um, Bill Clinton. Yeah, even Bush too. Weird. But they've done it. And I they've love, just done nothing about it. I love, I love how everyone always says this. I like, yeah, they didn't. Like, it didn't do anything to me. <laughs> Maybe you just didn't smoke it right, or you didn't. Yeah, I don't know weird, what that bro. is. And then Joe Rogan's like, okay, like <laughs> even he was. Like, I, I felt what? that was a little bit weird. Come on, just yeah, something. Yeah, I didn't feel anything, so <laughs> just didn't do it again. I, I don't. I didn't. I didn't really believe that. <laughs> yeah, it was a little weird. It was a little weird. But anyways, yeah. But uh, I mean. I, I, again, if I was running for a long time, I I've never done it, right? So it's like to to say that I've never done it, but I'm gonna go. I want to legalize it. Remember when yeah, I was saying true, true, that? True, true. It's yeah, like yeah. Uh, what would make more sense to say? Right, 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 right. Yeah, you wouldn't have believed me that I've never done it. Well, uh, like normal people wouldn't have believed that I've never done it before. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Like, totally, oh, that's yeah, that's yeah. not possible. How's that? Yeah, yeah. So you're trying to like um, it's like you're adhering to your audience. yeah yeah. Which okay, so. This was going to be, like, a different uh, podcast topic, but, like, it, it really, like, melds into this, but, like, celebrityism. Okay? Yeah. It's so interesting now how, like, I was watching the Justin Bieber um, roast with Tara, mm-hmm. and, like, it's weird how celebrities, this goes for politicians as well, Yeah. it's like you're a product now. Mm-hmm. You're not yourself. And after, like, because watching the roast, I was like, huh, we're making fun of you at your expense for our entertainment. Yeah. You know, it's like, okay, we're watching you on the Joe Rogan experience for our entertainment. It's like Dance Monkey. (laughs) You know what I mean? And it's like, so like Joe Rogan, like celebrities will say things like, like Joe Rogan will always be like, well, I do what I want, right? And it's like, yeah, sure. Totally, mm-hmm. but like to an extent, you know, like you couldn't actually do what you wanted because if you could, if you did do, maybe like you do 90% of what you want, but 10% you don't do, right? you know, and the fact that you don't do 10% of it means that you like, you're, you're a product, mm-hmm. but I guess at the same time, you could say that about like our lives, you know, it's like there's 80% of things that I don't want to do. Well, not me personally, but like. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And but but for celebrities, it goes like super hardcore. It's like you want this fame, you want this money, you gotta do this, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like very odd, and like looking at politicians this way, it's it's like the same thing. It's like you know, like we we're buying and selling you as like the leader of the free world. 
Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Right. And it's like, I would never, I would personally never want to, like, you know, as a kid, you're always like, oh, I want to be fam- rich and famous, right? Mm-hmm. But like, is it better to be rich and anonymous than famous and like, like, let's say you were famous and you made like $40,000 a year. But right. you were famous. Yeah. Would you take that? Or would you take like billions of dollars, but nobody knew who you were? Yeah, nobody knew who I was. Yeah, I know, right? But like a lot of people would be like, no, I want to be famous. And you're like, Why? Being famous is like you're a commodity. It's very odd. It is it is very odd. You know? Uh, it's like dance monkey. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I think if you're financially free, then it's like, then you're not a commodity because you're like total, like Vlad, Vlad TV, he was saying like, you're not actually f- uh, financially set until your money makes money for you. Yeah. Right. So like if you're going to work to make money, then you're not free. Mm-hmm. But if you can spend one day not working because or like one month or one year or whatever or the rest of your life not working because your money is making money through like stocks or investments yeah you know or like businesses that you own it's like then you're truly free Mm -hmm. you know and it it's like it's fascinating because it's like we don't even realize we're we're looking into like isolation we drove by um drake's mansion it's really close to us eh? oh yeah uh it's like it's at Bayview, you know, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. just like around there, there's this like, you turn onto like this uh, off road and like it's like right there, mm-hmm. and then um, Terrace is something really interesting. She's like, it's like a really big prison, like of course it's got to be nice because it's like you can't leave that place. Yeah, you can't like because I was like, oh, when's the last time he's been to like Scarborough Town or like gone to get like pizza or something? You can't do those things anymore. No, you're like a jailed product. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's why, like, you know, people like um, Dave Chappelle went to South America because they wouldn't know who he was. South America? Africa, South Africa. <laughs> sorry, South Africa. Yeah. He went to South Africa because mm-hmm. nobody knew who he was. And it's like, I get it. Like, but it's just like politicians. Yeah. You know? But that was like for like a quick time, though. Uh, Dave Chappelle? Yeah. Yeah, but still, it's like he probably just wanted a little bit of that freedom, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I digress. That's what a lot of people go to, like, India, because no one knows who you are. Yeah, it's totally, totally, totally. Actually, you know, it's funny. I went to the Philippines, and I was like, oh, man, you ever hear of Drake? Because, like, my, my, cousin's, my cousin's son, is, his name's Drake. And I was like, oh, you're a fan of Drake? And he's like, who's Drake? And I'm like, <laughs> Toronto, like, you know? He's like, I have no idea who you're talking about. And I'm like, what? He's like a worldwide phenomenon. Right. But it just hasn't hit Philippines, so it's like, mm. okay. Interesting, okay. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. So it, it's it's weird, the the whole election thing, the primaries. It's like I don't understand how someone can run the world. Like like we were just looking at the Hong Kong thing that was going on. Yeah. Right. And like, uh, do you want to just like go over that? So yeah, like the, um, the protest has been going on since I think June, right? That uh, some law they brought in about uh, something about extradition into mainland. Uh, if something or so goes with your case or something like that. Anyway, but like the people, at least I think the, mostly the young people did not want anything to do with mainland China. Mm. And so protests started happening. And now they are, uh, it's been like four or five days consecutively blocking uh, or sitting in protesting at the uh, airport, which has been canceling flights. Oh, interesting. So, and now that the police have to get involved and mainland China might get involved and like, then there's like these, uh, like ideas of, oh, is it going to be like Tiananmen Square or like Which that? is so freaky. And it's like, yeah. see, it's like nobody really knows how to, how to like govern. There's no right way to like govern. Because you know it's, it's all new to us though, right? There's no one way. It's just, we're figuring it out as we go. Yeah, I wonder. It's always been like that, though, right? Like uh, we've always uh, there. There has always been like that in in human like history. Some leader, but then it's like if that leader messes up, then whole everyone goes against them too. Right, right, right. Right. I think there was one time. Well, there have been cultures like around the world. Like apparently, the the Inca civilization in Peru, mm-hmm. uh, they were like super. Like, all of their needs were met. They had, like, enough food to, like, feed. Like, each person could, like, have seven meals a yeah. day. 
um, each person. Yeah. So like you all, if your food's covered and then your shelter and then your community's covered, all you have left to do is like think and like be yeah. become an enlightened society, yeah. you know. But see, like enlightenment, even through that definition, it's like it's a very like privileged thing to be quote enlightened unquote, yeah. you know, because it's like you have to have time to think and not worry about these things, mm-hmm. you know. I was I was thinking like I watched uh, the Hate You Give. Yeah. That movie like freaked me. I couldn't like sleep. I was like, oh man, <laughs> um, because like in it they show like inner city problems. Yeah. And like gangs and stuff and mm-hmm. you're just like wow people like i'm over here watching this show a movie on netflix and like i'm over here like making these beats and like we're doing this podcast but like people like in those like ghettos they're like they just wish for that you know for that to be normal yeah you know? i mean that's what a lot of these things are like fighting about right or like protesting about yeah like they um, want like underserved like, yeah yeah like the underserved community, and then they all. It, 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 when you when you have like the. Uh, sh- like a you know huge difference between the rich and the poor, it's just, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> totally, yeah, yeah, for sure. Right. So it's almost like you can't even. So like one thing that I've I've like, consciously put into practice. Not even like conscious. It's, it's not even a choice. It's sort of like, you know, when people say like, oh, you can choose to be happy. Mm-hmm. Or like you can choose to not do that, or you can choose whatever. I don't think, I don't think it's about choice. I think it's about education, because I'm not choosing to accept and understand these people. I just have the knowledge to understand where they're coming from now. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's like, it's like, um, you can choose to look at this as a positive or a negative, but it's like no, I just know what it is. So, mm-hmm. um, right, it it is just positive. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. like, because like. One could say, like, what's going on is bad, but then you look at it and you're like, well, that's just the way the world works. And you're like, oh, that's really cynical. It's like, or, oh, that's really, like, accepting of you or et cetera, et cetera. It's like, no, but that's came through knowledge. Like, mm-hmm. I think the more you know, the the more, I guess that's what they mean when they say, like, you're an enlightened being because it's like, what is enlightenment but except for knowledge? It's like the more you know about something, the more you, like, have a deeper understanding and can be more calm about it. Right. It's only like when we don't have, then we start to get not calm, mm-hmm. you know, and we get like into this tribal mentality. So like, it's so like in the hate you give, or like I went to uh, the flea market uh, here in Scarborough and mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this is like really like low end. And like, I could feel like a lot of um, like animosity. Right. Like a very a lot of alfing. Okay. And I was like, oh, it's because they don't like they probably don't make that much money and the money that they do make they probably need for like rent or something. Mm-hmm. So of course you're gonna like go to sell drugs and stuff. So it's like one person's like, Oh, you why can't you just get an education, all this, blah 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 but it's like, no, but the more you un- you know, the more you can be understanding about the situation. So it's like how can you spend time studying when you have to like pay this mortgage with like zero income of course you're going to turn to drugs and like crime right you know what i'm saying yeah 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 i don't know that's going to fix the world problem about governments but like Mm -hmm. i think the first step is like under because it's almost like we don't even understand what we want first of all so how can you pick a leader if you don't even understand what you want that's the first problem with governing what you want like what like what what people as a person okay okay so like so like back in American times, you could only vote. American times, like in American's his, America's history, yeah, uh, you could only vote if you had like a certain amount of money and education. Yeah, if you didn't, you couldn't vote. Right? Well, you had no rights to vote. Yeah, totally, totally. So like, but that makes you think it's like, yeah, if you don't even understand what these laws are doing or like how they affect you, how can you weigh in on them? Of course, it's going to be a popularity contest. Mm-hmm. Because you're like, oh, you're saying the right things. But it's like, but how do you get that done? Like, you and I are listening to Bernie Sanders. We're like, oh, that's logical. Yeah, that makes sense. I would vote for you. Yeah. But how many people are like, they don't even understand how global politics works. Even on the most minute level. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, from that, how can you, how can you regulate governance? Because the person 
the person would never be serving the highest good. Okay. Because we don't yeah. even know what the highest good is. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like one person's like, it's sort of like, um, I want to go to the movie. Like you're like, let's say you're 10 years old and you're like, I want to go to the movies, um, but I'm going to drive myself there. Right. And then you have yeah. like one person being like, no, don't do that because X, Y, and Z, like you're too young. You don't have a license. You can kill someone, yeah. but you don't understand that. So then the other person's like, oh, I'll let you do that. So then you're going to end mm-hmm. up like liking that person. Yeah. But you don't understand the ramifications of your decision. You, don't, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So what are we trying to say here? That at its very core, you can't govern anything because the people who want governance don't even understand what it is that they want. So how can you ask for governance over something that you don't fully know what to do with? We want, we want a world leader. Okay, why? Because he'll make everything better. That's not enough of a reason. Why do you want a world leader? What do you want them to do? Yeah, that's Oh, I want them to do this. Uh, that on... won't actually work because of this. Oh. Yeah, uh, it's based on policy, right? right? No, no, totally, totally, totally. But they don't, what I'm saying is they don't even understand the policy to begin with. So it's mm-hmm. like... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Regular people don't understand policy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like... If you don't understand policy, so why are you voting? Why are you weighing in on a decision that will affect policy? It makes no sense. Mm-hmm. You know that's why. Like, it's not that governments are bad. It's just the people who are voting in people. But it's not. It's all. I see what you're saying. Don't know what they want. It's it's that. But it's also it's like, like when you do the when they do the polls to see like on certain questions what they want. Yeah, but they don't even. What I'm saying is they don't know what they want, and even if they think they know what they want, they don't know how to get there. No, 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 but yeah, but that, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm saying like, uh, like uh, you go with what the, like the, what the people want, right? You know what I'm the saying? The populist, right? Yeah. Which is the popular vote, which is popularity, popular contest, popularity. No, no, contest. no, like not of the people, of the choices, right? Of the thing. So do you? Yeah, but who votes? People, right? No, no, no. I know. What I'm saying is that, that what what's happening is people. Uh, what they want is not what's happening. You're voting against your own best interest when you're when they lie to you. Right, but how can you lie to somebody who understands what's going on? Exactly. So, so if you edge, so if so I'm, people if I'm are trusting not, your uh, word, but that's what I'm saying. Being fundam- informed. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, but it's like you want it to be easy for you. So it's like, of course, the liars are going to get in there. And it's their every right to get in there. It's you who has the problem. Wow, I think it cracked code. <laughs> this is it. Uh, the government isn't the problem. It's the lack of education that's the problem. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like, oh, they're lying to us. Okay, then get the correct information. I don't even know where to start. Well, that's your real issue. Mm-hmm. Get cracking. Yeah. Oh, I have no time to think about it. Okay, so then why do you want somebody to weigh in for you? Because they'll think about it. Okay, so then you have to accept that they may lie to you. See what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no, no I know. It's I know. like people are not informed, or they're people getting, are not informed yeah. and they're lazy. They don't want to go out and like learn. This is such this is such a bashing right now. <laughs> but I, like, I'm just saying that. Like, no, no, no. This is not. I don't think it's a bashing. I think this is the actual facts of what is actually happening to people. Yeah. Because like you can't. I don't understand why people are getting angry. It's like we're not willing to do anything. We want somebody else. We want other people to solve our problems. This is no different than God. It's like, oh, it's in God's hands. It's like, yeah, so you have no ownership or blame over it? No, no, it's in God's hands. Oh, God's will be done. You know what I mean? It's like, dude, just take ownership over your own life. Uh, yeah, but the, yeah, I know, I know what you're saying. Like, just everything, uh, like who are... See, journalism is meant supposed to be the arbiter of truth, right? But no, no, but the thing is, but then it's when, always... When things get corrupted, as, no, no, as but, they do... No, but it's, at its core, it's corrupted, because everyone's perspective is biased. No, uh, 
No, right. at the core, like that's not how American journalism wasn't right, right, the way it is. Right? The only the only way that it won't be actually no, even if you do it in the most like reductionist way, you're like this happened, then this happened, then this happened, then this happened, then this happened, right? No, no, There's no, 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 story no, behind no, it. no, no. The, the, it's about the actual facts of the truth. That that's not totally, what's totally. Happening, no, right? no, no. I, I get what you're saying, but it's like it's still filtered through that journalist. No, I know. Yeah, that, that's what the journalist's job is meant to do, is to get the actual truth. Totally. Right. No, no, right, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. Okay, so so we both see an event. You don't see... You ever see that thing, um, that thing where it's like, pay attention, count how many times they skip the rope or whatever, and then like a white bear walks across the screen, and they're like, did you see the white bear? Yeah. So it's like, a lot of things are happening at once. A journalist can only pay attention to what they can pay attention to. No, I don't. That's the that's the job of the journalist to pay attention to everything. But right? that's what I'm saying. They're biased because whatever yeah. they miss is a bias. No. So what's happening is there are. So what's happening in in uh, see like there's still like real journalism that still happens on paper, but like in the news as everyone watches it, that has become a method of entertainment that they're not. No, no. I, I get what you're saying. No, no. Where right, they're totally, going, right? Totally, totally, totally. I get what you're saying. I but like you're saying. that's what, what you're the, saying the, is like picking the out. No, yeah, no, yeah no. but what you're saying is like picking out that white bear, whatever it was. That's the job of the journalist. No, so but, if they're not but, doing right, that correctly. What, no, what I'm saying is nobody can do that. No, but the thing, that's the job of the journalist. Though. But, right. But they can't do it. Nobody can do that. Because, all right. Hold on. From an I. The integrity and the idealism of what a journalism is, I get what you're saying. Yeah, that, that's what but I'm What I'm saying is a human being, no matter what it is they're doing, will always be biased in their recollection. It's not like about recollection, though. It's about the facts, right? If someone brings up some, like, uh, okay, so uh, it's like this. Totally. So no, no, no. Totally, totally. It's like, okay. oh, this guy's talking about um, something specific about... Uh, like, um, right, right. Well, like well, economy, right? Yeah, I, I, or like I, I something specific saying. about the economy, but then not disclose that this guy's being paid by, like, who are his donors? Totally. Not disclosing who they are. Like, that's what I mean. Like, right, 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 right. But that's right. Totally, totally. I get what you're saying. But it's like you can't give every piece of information because they don't know every piece of information. That's what I'm saying about the white bear thing. You're gonna miss things. It's like sure he's being paid off, but. X, Y, and Z also. Yeah, but it's like, I understand if you miss it like once, but it's like you. But no, Bob, nobody can miss it. No, but they're intentionally missing it because they. Right, what's what's happened? Now that's just straight lying, though. Yeah, it is. It is. That's not lying. It's like, it is lying. Yeah, they're not straight. They're not saying anything uh, about, uh, like, why they said this. I'm not saying they're lying. I'm saying that everyone's perspective is biased and they can't possibly give you everything that happened. No, I'm saying, like, yeah, I understand what you're saying, but it's like you, you got to take like point by point, right? Like specific right, thing right. to what they said. For sure. So why are they saying that? Like, it, where is that influence coming from? It, right. It's sort of like this. It's sort of like this. Like, if, like the reason why Bernie can say what he's saying, because he's not getting uh, like he why, he's not the only one. Right. He, like Andrew Yang would say that. Right. Like Tulsi Gabbard. Why are they saying it? Because they're not. Uh, getting super PAC money from totally, these totally. bigger I, guys, I, right? I get, I get what you're saying. But but what I'm saying is, let's say you go and watch a movie. Yeah. So trusting a journalist is like reading a review on the movie that just happened. Unless I was physically there at the movie to make my own opinion, I'm looking at it through a filter. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right? So because there's a filter, that filter will always be biased because it's through their... R- reporting, yeah, which will though relay to me. So I'm saying nobody yeah. can do this job. The, there is the, the whole idealism is broken because it's like you're relying on faulty memory. It's not faulty because it's like, yeah, you can report to the best of your ability, but the best of your ability will never be a hundred percent. Do you know what I'm saying? If, I if guess you, if you watch a movie, I don't, I don't you, know if I'm, I guess I don't know enough about journalism to, to break it down. No, no, no. no, no. I'm, I'm saying people, people. Yeah, I know. Nobody I know can do this. I, know I don't mean saying. like it's not just a profession. It's like nobody can do this. That's why there's things like direct experience, right? Yeah. It's like me watching a movie is not the same as me being told how the movie right. unfolded, mm-hmm. right? Because I'm going to miss things. Yeah. Right. I can tell you how the movie happened in like ten minutes, right? But 
the movie was an hour and a half long. So you distilled an hour and a half into 10 minutes. What'd you leave out? Get what I'm saying? So like an event happens and then I'm reading about it in 150 words, but the event took place over 10 days. So what did you leave out? Yeah. yeah. So inherently it's biased. Uh, sure. Fine. Right? So that, that, that's all I'm saying. That's why it's yeah. like, and because it's biased, any information we pull from it will be like biased information. So you, you can never know. So it's like, how can you trust somebody to live your life for you, govern your life for you? They can govern society. Just, mm-hmm. hey, just do the best you can yeah. given all the people. And that's how I look at it. It's like, hey, man, well, yeah, that's you what... just do the best you can. Yeah. Even if you're being yeah. like shady and you're like killing people, mm-hmm. you're doing the best you can. But to think otherwise, that's where we get into delusions. And that's what I think a Wait, lot of so, people... Uh, yeah, that, but that's what I thought with uh, any... Even with politicians, they're doing the best... Well, uh, depending no, but, on the politicians. But, right, but you see so many like diehards who are like so angry at politicians. It's like, all right, I get it. Yeah, it's not the one you want. Right, right, so right. They're right, doing the right. best they can, bro. Like, come on. Well, that's if they're doing the best they can to what they've said, right? Like, if they're not doing what they said they were going to do. Yeah, but like that's just an issue of like over-promising and under-delivering. Yeah, no, but it depends on what it is, right? People There's do, certain, that, people do no. that all the time. Name somebody at work that who hasn't like promised you something and hasn't delivered it right away. So if they can't even do it, then what the hell, bro? Why am I going to hold up like this president? Oh, he's the best one among us. But it's like, yeah, yeah that's an ideal, bro. Everyone's human. Nobody can – things get in the way. No, 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 no. I'm not like, saying that. Like what if the drug cartel's like, you know what? I'm going to kill you and your whole family if you don't do this. And then if we all found if we all found that out, it's like oh, it makes all it makes so much sense now why all of his decisions were so bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like we don't know the whole truth, and because of that, how can you judge a person? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even going so far as like Hitler, right? It's like yeah. I don't know what your life was like. You just got away with a lot of shit <laughs> that like you got away with. I don't can I don't have to condone it, but it's like. I but the understand. people voted him in, though. That was democracy. It's, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. it's like insanity. So it's like, all right, they voted you in. Oh, he's so evil. Shouldn't you guys be the evil ones? Are you guys are the ones who put him in power. What about all the people that listened to Hitler? Hitler was one man. What the hell? Yeah. You're going to blame all this on one person? Mm-hmm. Why? Because you want a scapegoat? Right. You can't take over the ownership yourself? But that's like governance, right? That's like all governing bodies. It's like, I don't want to have to think about my general life. So I'm going to trust a, a governing body, a president, to make this decision for me. And then if they screw up, in my eyes, I'm going to blame them for everything. I was like, how can you do that? Why don't you just take ownership over your life? These are the rules of the game we're playing in. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, got, I hear this one a lot, and I even saw it in university. But, like, people were just given a different leg up. I was in accounting class with this other guy, and I was like, oh, man, this is so hard, blah, blah, blah. And the guy was like, it doesn't matter if I get a D. I'm just going to take over my father's company anyways. I was like... Cool, cool story for you, bro. But I'm out here trying to get this higher grade because I don't have that. See what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like, I'm not angry at him. It's like, okay, that's just the tools you've been given. And like, we're all playing a video game and it's like, we don't all start at the same level. You know? Yeah. But we're, again, that's like, that comes down to, uh, because that reminds me of like uh, the whole monkey experiment. Okay. With the fairness stuff. Yeah, okay. And that's all what this is. What right? I mean? That's all what people are trying to, like, they want... Oh, the one f- monkey gets, like, a grape, the other monkey gets, yeah, like, it's a like, Yeah, that's not fair. Like, this is... We're all monkeys, right? That's what we're doing. Totally. And we're, and we're just... And we're so upset if the guy doesn't give it our way. And it's like, bro, but... Yeah, so what like, they basically want is so many is the same perspectives. Thing. Come on, man. Yeah. But, well, see, like, but see, but like that's that's but, the, I, that's what that's why I mean that's 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 what the government but, tries right, right. to do, so, right? So then, so then one person, one person would easily say like, "Oh, you're just being complacent. You just don't want to care about anything." No, I just wouldn't vote for that person. See what I'm saying? It's like it's like, oh, you the way you're speaking, it sounds like you're very complacent, and anything that happens, it just like happens, and you just gotta accept it. No, I'm taking ownership over it, and I'm going to educate myself prior to my vote. But yeah. the thing is, I don't actually believe in the whole system, so I don't really vote. Surprise. <laughs> you know what I mean? I vote for whoever, like, all right, this is the populist vote in my family. Cool, we're going with that one. It's team sports. Right. Yay team. Yeah. You know? But, like, 
I don't really like it's it's not one of the biggest eye openers was this dude from university who I, I was in class with. This dude, I'm not gonna say his name, but like <laughs> but he won the all right. I'm not gonna say his name, but remember he was yeah, in yeah, our yeah, writing. Yeah, 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 no, he no, was no. in my university class. He was a part of the dance crew. And I was like, this like, oh, this guy's kinda weird. And he won. He won the regional council mm-hmm, or whatever mm-hmm. in our area yeah. where we grew up. And I was like, dude, that's super weird. And then I think it was you or your brother said, like, oh, he didn't even show up to the debates. And I was like, what why? He's like, oh, because he was under conservative, so he's gonna win automatically. Wait. Is that what I said? Uh, I think it was maybe your brother. Because uh, I was like... No, he like, wasn't cool, going to win my... automatically. That, that, it wasn't like that. It was just... He, he, won, he won by default because... No, he didn't win default. What do you mean default? So who... How, they no, he won... They voted him in. Yeah, he won by votes. Yeah. Not, it wasn't default win. Isn't it like if, if conservatives win... No, it doesn't mean that. Oh, so you can still have that? a liberal standing so then in, how in the your hell does area. do win? That's what the Everyone voted. hated him. No, who who hated like, him? Like all the, I I like kept it. Uh, the, on where? The, in my in my my room. It's like a oh like it's like a hate but not thing. The, you know, in your class you're talking about. No no no. no. I'm saying like oh. they were like handing out like this guy's ruining our, don't vote for this guy. No, yeah, but that's that's uh, that was during the thing or after it? Well, it was, it was after, but but uh, during it, everyone's like. Oh, this guy, like, your, even your parents were like, mm, I don't know. No, they wouldn't have voted. They didn't vote for him. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, yeah. like, everyone that I talked to, I'm like, how did this guy win it? Because the other people voted him in. That's what I'm wondering. I'm like, okay, well, all right, that destroys my, <laughs> my default. I thought he won oh, by default. No, no, no. Okay, you so don't if, win by default. If, if he won then, is like, how did you win? If, like, everyone else I talked to didn't like you. Yeah, but doesn't me they both voted for him. It was, or it was a, maybe it's it's an issue of like people not wanting to vote. So what happens? And is, then he was like, "Oh, all of my friends are going to vote for me. I'm just going to rally this because he was going door to door. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he came up to my um, he came up to my dad. And my dad was like, "Oh, my son knows you. you went to the same <laughs> university. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, your son. Blah, blah. You know, obviously the politician mm, thing. Yeah, BS, BS. But like again, like everyone that met him was like, "Nah, I'm not going to vote for that guy. Everyone that I knew." Was like I'm not gonna vote for that guy. So I'm like, okay, he's got like a. Terrible... I think I think because our group is probably more a bit more educated, maybe. See, but that's all right. See, yeah. I so that just that just made me feel even worse because I thought he won by default. So I was like, no, oh, no, that's no, crazy. No, no, no. But the fact that people voted him in, I was like, what? Yeah. What's going on, guys? Uh, well, I don't know. I think maybe the surrounding community was more into him than. The rest. So what was happening? It's not he didn't win by default. They voted him in probably because he was a conservative candidate in the area. Oh, I see. So they were like, "Oh, we're going to vote conservative, so we're going to vote for this conservative guy." Yeah. Okay. So then there you go. Yeah. No, 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 no. That it's no, not no, no, not no, no, saying no. that they voted. He did. He did win by default. No, no. I was right. You. I don't vote for Trudeau on that thing. No, that's not a Trudeau thing. That's a that's a municipal. And then those party. municipals boost Trudeau, right? N- no. How does this thing work? <laughs> that, this is a municipal thing. It's just okay. like a local uh, slash mayoral. I, I think it was mayor. Yeah, it was because uh, I remember slash voting. Mayor. I remember voting. I never saw Trudeau on there because it's not a federal election. It's a municipal election. Oh. It's a provincial election. Sorry, but then, but then that same. I think that same day, or I think it's the same day. Um, that conservative guy that nobody likes won. Yeah, because that's part of the. It was the. It was the. Ontario's provincial election. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, that makes more sense. So I didn't see that main guy on there. Uh, as a premier, he would be on there. But what, as it, your Ontario premier, yeah. So like when you're doing the ballot, shows how much I vote. But when you're <laughs> voting, it's like the two. Uh, I believe so. And then so you're yeah. saying you're saying they I just went so. conservative, conservative because they wanted to go conservative. Yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. See, that, that's what I meant about by, win by default. I didn't yeah. mean like, it wasn't technically default. They voted him. You can still vote the other person and vote for that. But guy, why would you go liberal and conservative? Makes no sense. Exactly. If you want the yeah. conservative win, obviously, that's what I meant. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because okay. okay. I was talking to your brother about it. When we saw that it won, I was like, oh. He was saying like, oh, he won because he's a part of this party. And yeah. I was like, 
also you want by default. Yeah, so it's not technically default, but it's, I see what that's, you're saying. That's, that's, what that's what I meant. That's what I meant about that's default. The I was like, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, he won because he's a part of that party. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Because everyone hated him, so I'm like, why the hell do you, how do you win? Yeah. Right? I think the people around... But that makes sense, though, that they work. wanted to go conservative. So, like, well, let's go conservative, conservative, because why would we go liberal, conservative? Yeah. It makes no sense. Right. Interesting. Okay. There we go. We clarified that. <laughs> so I was so confused. I was like, wait, what? See, we... Yeah, ours is all different stuff. I think it's the same thing in, in America, too. They do have their own... But see, even that already, it shows stuff. you what a, what a terrible, like... That even shows you already, like, what a terrible state. Oh, so you're talking is. about, were they talking about that guy or they were talking about the premier? That guy. That guy. The premier guy or that the, specific the, the guy? The specific guy. The, the one that you know. Yeah, yeah okay. the one I know. They were like, I hate this dude. Everyone. So I was like, okay. Like, well, it's not technically how everyone. How did he win? It's not technically everyone. The people that I know. So I guess because they're all liberals, right? So like. Yeah. <laughs> but like, it was so weird. And then like, now I get all this hate mail. I kept it because it was so funny. Hate mail, okay. Like not hate mail, but like these flyers of like this guy's ruining our our area, vote him out, never mm-hmm. again. So I'm like, oh, so I'm like But we knew this. Like I was hearing this. I was like, why did you guys vote him in the first place? It makes no sense. But see, even that shows the faultiness of like voting, because it's like you just went conservative, conservative, because you're like, let's go team sports. Rather than going like, okay, I want the most logical people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, generally it still happens, even even it's not always like that. Just it just my, happened to be they did not evidence. want that liberal person and then maybe that liberal person just really sucked. Who knows? I didn't know the other people. I just saw this one. Guy uh, like, oh. Well, I mean, yeah, uh, I would not say so. But again, I mean, like coming back, like specifically about that was just he's uh, the premier now has more debt than he said he would, which is he would she would have less debt. Like, basically. So it's not, like, really working out as to what he said he was going to do. You know what's really interesting? The thing that I said, like, well, it's like, oh, like, because I, I was thinking back, and I was like, oh, I actually, I don't think I voted for that one. I don't think you went. Did you? I don't No, I, I didn't go back to our, our area and vote. Oh, yeah, yeah. For that one. I don't know if I did. Either. And that, that's why I was like, oh, I don't. Anyways, but but so, like, and then it's like, oh, so why don't you vote then? It's like, oh, because of the rig system. That's what came up in my mind just now, because I was like, oh, why didn't I vote? And I was like, well. It's a rigged system. But then if you actually look at it, rappers have been talking about that for a long time. I think that's why I gravitate towards them because it's like, you guys are speaking the truth. They're like, a lot of them said that. Like, it's a rigged system because they, from firsthand experience, being the lower on the ladder, they already see it's rigged. You know, like if you're affluent, it's like, oh, yeah, great for me. But like, they see like in impoverished areas, they're like, even if we vote, it does nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Yeah, that's that's a whole other issue to get into. Though. <laughs> no, but but it goes back to the whole thing about like people don't even really know what they want, so like they're not voting in the right things. I think they do. It's it's not it's not like a lot of no, times. To, what uh, does happen is uh, ask they're any saying voter, they're ask saying any voter and be like, hey, so man, no, explain like, to me the four policies. Like for like for instance, like right now, everyone thinks um, okay uh, during the twenty sixteen election. Uh, uh, a lot of black votes were going towards Hillary. Okay. But Pusha T was uh, one of her constituents, or whatever, one of the people pushing for her. Just like... Uh, like supporter? Supporter, I yeah. guess. Yeah. But it's like she hasn't done anything towards the black community, right? Yeah, he was doing that because he didn't want Trump in office. So he's like, let me just rally for Well, that was... No, no. That, that, that's between... No, I understand that. That's between Hillary when, when Hillary was facing Trump. Okay. Yeah. Right. But like when it was Bernie and Hillary. Okay. So the idea was that she's doing stuff for black people, right? Okay. But she hasn't done See, a lot of good things. There you go. But Bernie has. Okay. But the she had the money to, to buy ads. To buy ads to, to do this and See, then to, system. Uh, to make it sound like she was and she's never done anything like that. They yeah. should have this thing where it's like you have to answer a quiz before you can vote. <laughs> you said this before, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I think it was, you said this. Kind of they stuff. they should literally do that. Like, all right, this these four policies have to do with which which of these is not a piece right. of the policy. I think if it, you can't answer that, it's like. But you, you see, you so not vote. so it, it may it, see this could all trigger down to like okay, like how does their education system works? The education system is not working. 
Yeah. Right. So, but it's a trickle thing of like, so like those areas have bad education and why that's totally. happening. But that's what and I'm saying. And they, like, they would fall into that category continuously because they've been, uh, they don't have good schools. They're totally. not teaching them well. And, and any, uh, like there's no good teachers that are staying in that, those areas who are like rough but, communities. But that's what I'm saying though. It's so like, it's like education is key first. Yeah, but then you, what you're suggesting is things that would only help the people who oh, are. Oh, no, no. I don't think people should vote at all. I'm just saying if you're going to vote. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's like, what I'm saying. Like, yeah, and I know what you're saying, but then. When you, if you implement that now, it's like you're only going to help people who only have good education. True. And it won't help them at all. Or you should do it like a, like a percentage. Like in each area, 20% have to vote. 20% of the populace have to vote and they have to score correctly. Or else we go into deadlock and you have to recap. <laughs> could you imagine that shit? Could you imagine that? That'd be sick, bro. And it's like, I don't know. Oh, we got to educate these this people quick. Go we got to educate these people quick. You know what I mean? It's going to go on forever. And it's like, uh, deadlock again. Oh, right. better pull up your education system then. Mm-hmm. I think that'll just cause a lot of other problems. We wouldn't know. What it would work, though. Sure. It would. Think about that. It would force uh, them to <laughs> increase the education level. Like, dude, these, these people are just not scoring. So, okay, I see what you're saying. Down. So, you're, uh, something to impl- uh, that would help also like increase the level of education in those communities. I get what you're saying. And also, yeah. if you, every, every uh, whatever place is has the to best vote. way to make that work, whatever that is. Sure. Yeah. Fine. I'm fine with that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I think it's rigged. It's messed up. Uh, I mean, if you say it's rigged, uh, Trump would never have won. But anyways. But I, I know what or, you mean. Uh, I know what you mean by it's rigged. That's a different meaning than what I was Would have never won? He, he won because it was rigged. Uh, no, I mean, like, Hillary would have won then. Because no, they know I, how to rig. No, I'm saying rigged isn't like, I know. I know what you meant. Yeah. So it's not, it's not the same thing as what I'm saying. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I see what you, I know what you mean. Yeah, like rigging the minds of the people. Yeah, it, it's yeah. it's maybe all right, I won't go with rigged. I'll say it's a flawed. System. So yeah, like Cambridge Analytics is what really worked here. Yeah, totally. I gotta say. Yeah, I don't know if people know about that, but people should it's, watch. There's a Netflix doc on it. Uh, Brexit. Uh, no, that's the Brexit was where they showed off. We did bring it up because when we talk about Brexit. Oh yeah. Uh, Brexit is where they uh, uh, used it first. Uh-huh. And it was successful, and that's when then Trump used it, right, 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 right. Uh, and uh, and uh, it worked. Yeah, uh, I so, oh yeah. What I wanted to add was now, whoever is going to be the Democratic nominee, I do wonder what's going to happen next. Is Cambridge Analytics going to get involved again, and is oh, this going to shift the election again, or are they going to be banned, or, or uh, what's going, going on? Because there's a lot of things that happened to Cambridge Analytics. After Trump winning, okay, uh, there's been a lot of controversy. Uh, not just controversy, but a lot of uh, leaks of what exactly happened within the in that corporation and, and whatnot. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, is there a doc on this? There is a doc on this, which okay. I have not yet finished. It's on Netflix. Oh, uh, I gotta watch this. I, I forgot what they called it. I showed you the trailer once. Yeah, but I didn't know it was out. Yeah, it was out. Uh, I forgot the name. Uh, but it's uh, it's on it's on Just Netflix. Just Google it. Yeah. Cambridge Analytics doc on Netflix. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I should definitely check that out. So that's the one thing I'm wondering. Like, you know, yeah. Once we figure out who is going to be the Democratic nominee, then we'll see who it is. I all I can say is uh, if it's going to be Joe Biden, my prediction is he's not going to win against Trump if it's him. You know, th- this is one of the reasons why I like marketing so much. Like, even though we talk about, like, all this, like, craziness that's going on, it's sort of like Neo in the Matrix, right? Like, Neo re-enters the Matrix yeah. to use the Matrix to, like, mess up the Matrix. Mm-hmm. But, like, I love the tactics of, like, marketing because then you can just not be, like, you cannot succumb to the tactics of marketing. Mm-hmm. Or, like, I, well, I'm sure there's, like, more genius marketers out there. So, like, of course they're marketing to me without yeah. me, me yeah. knowing I'm being marketed right. to. But, like... Oh, okay. I think that's cool. Uh, uh, what I wanted to add, like, just remembered about a bit more about Cambridge Analytics, Amber, uh, Cambridge Analytics, how they figured out what ads for you to see. Uh-huh. Uh huh. You know those uh, per, uh, personality. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's totally, totally. Wait, hold on, sorry, sorry, quick pause. You know, it's so funny. I think I like know too much about like these marketing tactics that, like, when I'm when I'm in like meetings and stuff, I'm way far reaching. So we're talking about like like. 
all right, I guess it's not really confidential. It's not really confidential because <laughs> all, all companies do. All, all yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I have clients as well, so it can be a part of sure. clients. Um, allegedly, we're just, well, I mean, like, no, it's pretty out there. I'll just say I'm using it for, all right, whatever. So, like, A B testing, right? Yeah. You're like testing two things, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm always like, well, we do we have the psychographics and the demographics of our audience? And then they're like, oh, well, in a perfect world, we would. And I'm like, but I'm thinking of like Cambridge Analytics. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. everyone's got to have this, right? I'm like, oh, no. The reason why Cambridge Analytics is so good is because they have big data, which is interesting because I finished reading a book on big data. And like you can predict um, people are more truthful to Google. I think they said that they had like 5,000 data points on Every American or something Makes like sense. that. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas like data points would be like age, gender, location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you have five thousand of those, it's like you really know what these people are into. Yeah. But so in turn, like big data, which is what um, Cambridge Analytics, you know, they're like util- utilizing that kind of mm. stuff. Um, it's interesting because like Google, uh, Google, it, we're we're more honest towards Google than we are to other people. So think about it. You're right, yeah, Google yeah. things. You're going to be like, what is this? How do I yeah, do this? But yeah. you'll never ask people these things, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah that's true. Right. Yeah. So the way they did it, uh, yeah, there's these personality questions on Facebook. Uh-huh. You would fill out those personality things. Uh-huh. Then they get to know your personality. That makes sense. Uh, and then anyone else connected to your friends on your Facebook page. Freaking genius. And... Uh, that's what they used uh, to sell specific ads to you. Right, because you get the demographics. Yeah, and so it's like, like, oh, you're the type of person that uh, fears these types of people. So you're going to get this. Yeah. Uh, That's so and then you're going to get that. How do they do personality quizzes? On Facebook. Those no, but did plug- they do it themselves? Like they did a plugin or they just like. I think it's probably like a plugin thing. All right, because I was like, how did they take that people's data? How did they take. Like, like they Facebook had to fill it out. So. People had to fill that out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, and of course, a lot of people do that, right? And then... Oh, the, it's like learn your star sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, so yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, genius. So you click it. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Da, 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 but you don't realize where you just genius. gave them. Genius. Okay, this is how it works. You just create like... Uh, you just create, create like 200 different widgets or like 200 different ad sets of like find your star sign, find your perfect match, find your best um, house. You know, you see those people doing yeah. like those quizzes like what's your future house going to look like? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then when you fill that information out of like the things you like, they've got the psych- psychographics about you. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, they'll give you some stupid answer. You know, like your house is going to be a mansion in the future. And you're like, you're feeling good about yourself, but you don't realize you just gave them all the data about you and yeah. they know how to sell to you now. Yeah. Which is not a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. No, I'm not saying I, it. I like ads. So I'm like, hey, I didn't know I could buy that. Sweet. Yeah. Then, right. then that's what I'm saying. Then you, but see, that's the thing. About, no, but see, this, the people who are asleep, like we were just talking about, who like don't really educate themselves on things, and they just like focus on like trigger points to make themselves move through life. Mm-hmm. That's who's gonna be affected by this. But people who educate themselves, they're like, okay, well, yeah, you're saying this, but why are you saying this? Right. You know, then those people will like go further. I mean, that's probably it. why we went in, or at least I went into like looking into these sort of things, right? Because this yeah, is totally, just yeah. how I was going Because you're like, you're like, I don't really trust this. Yeah. But I also, like, anyway, we talked about Trump before, too. Like, I also know why he won. So it's not just with Cambridge Analytics, but it was, it's a multiple, multiple different things. But yeah, there's reasons why he won. It's funny. Yeah. That Hillary was not speaking of, but Bernie is. So it's like, oh, like oh, all, all polls show if it's Bernie and Trump. Bernie wins. Yeah. Okay. So then, but Hillary just didn't want Bernie to win. Uh, no, but we we knew about the the uh, the corruption that happened within Winside to not make Bernie win. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like the um, the closing of the ballot booth. Yeah, the, it was uh, a bunch of weird things that they were doing. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, yeah. so. So she was like, oh, I'm going to. Or they were afraid because Bernie would actually do some change. Like there, people are like even now, they're oh, so, even, so even, even now they're afraid of Bernie. They just they know that he's going to do shit that they don't want. So, so they were like, in, oh, in power. so they were like, oh, I'm going to make this 
so they were kind of like, I'm going to make this person win. They're going to make Trump win because um, if he wins, at least it's the lesser of the two evils from my perspective. Or they thought that they, I, or they, no, thought they had a chance. They, had, they actually thought that Hillary would win because all polls showed that she was going to win, but they were totally off. I guess, yeah. I mean, I remember like Cenk was the only one on the, that panel. Even a Republican said Trump would lose. On that one of those prediction panels on in some news network and uh-huh. and Chenk from like TYT like he's the only one that said uh, even though he hates Trump Trump's gonna win. You know it's funny <laughs> I remember um, I used to like uh, go for these walks with uh, Wob and I would always say like we'd always talk about like because the elections were coming. Uh, yeah, like, I remember this one. Oh, it'd be yeah. so funny if, if he Trump won because <laughs> the world would just get all messed up. You know it'd be so entertaining to see. And then he won. I was like oh <laughs> damn. How's that? <laughs> and now we're coming down to another. Well, yeah. the world isn't broken yet. So. But like all the craziness that's happening around the world is like it's kind of freaky. Well, it did start. It did trigger from Brexit, though. But yeah, you know, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. But it's it's kind of weird because it's like every generation has their doomsday. Yeah. There you, you go. Know? Like remember remember two thousand was such a big thing. Y two K, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And twenty twelve. Oh, twenty twelve, bro. Now it's like, nah, we're just not buying into that anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If it happens, it happens, bro. Like, whatever. Yeah. But, like, you can't look at your surroundings and be like, oh, the world's coming to an end. I'm sure, like, during the bubonic play, people were thinking about that, too. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, oh, my God, the world's coming to an end. Because, yeah. like, this virus we don't know anything about. Yeah. But it's like, the world's not going to end. Actually, that's not true, because if you believe in... If you do the research on ancient civilizations, you'll know that we've been reset. But we're here now, so. Well, we're always resetting. Yeah, so whatever, man. But if you look at the Matrix, it's like, oh, if you look at the Matrix, he kind of brings that up. It's like, this is our seventh iteration of the Matrix, (laughs) right? right? (laughs) It's like, oh, that's kind of like how we are now. Right. The Matrix really was on so many levels, like talking about contemporary society. It was such like a masterpiece. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, good, good chat. I think that one's like pretty long. I think so. Yeah, we're going to like many. I don't know. Yeah, pretty long emergence. politics topic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, love politics. <laughs> I'm gonna become a politician one day, so vote for me. I'm gonna vote from now on. This this whole conversation has changed my outlook, and I'm gonna vote on every um, political thing because I sure. believe in the the vote really matters. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Till next time, vote this 2019 Canadian election. Who are you voting for? Liberals? <laughs> Trudeau, who, who Trudeau, else? Trudeau gonna let us smoke that weed. So, <laughs> well, he did uh, hold up to his... Uh... Yeah, so we gotta vote him back in. We gotta vote our boy back in. The Bruce Wayne of uh, Canadian politics. <laughs> okay. Right? Pretty boy. He's a boxer. He's one of the people. Uh, yeah, we'll see who wins because it seems like there's no one really on the other team. So he wins by default, just like um, my boy from university. Maybe. Yeah, all right, until next time. Take it easy. Yeah. Peace. Peace.